Good morning, friends. I am up and I'm ready to go on another adventure. It is garbage morning in one of the towns next door. So I'm going to go over there and see if we can do some curb shopping, see what cool things we can find on the curb. So hopefully it um, will work out good. It's been raining almost every day, um, but it is not raining right now and it's pretty early. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to find some stuff and it won't be all wet. Um, I think it did rain a little overnight, so if things were out overnight, they might be slightly wet, but hopefully we won't have a problem. Hopefully we'll find some furniture or something cool. So let's go and let's go do some curb shopping. All right, guys, I see some sort of a uh, shelf thing here that looks interesting, so I'm going to probably grab that. This is really heavy. Whoop. I actually really like this, guys. But boy, is it heavy. Can you guys see that? It's pretty cool. I like it. Top has some scratches, but other than that, it's in pretty good condition. If you can see, I'm wearing my gloves I found the other day in the dumpster. And they're actually perfect because they have little grips. I like them. Um, plus, it's kind of cold today. All right, onward we go. You guys, do you see what I see? Enemy number one has arrived! Oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me, Mr. Garbage Truck. Can I pass you up, please? I don't know if he sees me, guys. This is dangerous. Whew, luckily he saw me because I was about to get squeezed in there. Bye-bye, enemy number one. Can't let you take stuff that can be perfectly saved and used. No, no, no. Although, I don't really know if that was the garbage truck or it could have been the recycling. I wasn't really paying attention. It did look like a lot of boxes were in there, so it might have been recycling. Guys, okay, so here's another little red power wheel. Super cute. But I saw some stuff on the curb over here, so I wanted to turn around and see what it is. I also see something over here wrapped in plastic. I can't tell if that's trash or some sort of toy, so I'm going to kind of go slow and see what we got. Oh, it's just some colorful boxes inside that bag there. And here, I don't know, I see some pink going on. So I thought I would stop, go slow and see what we got. Well, I'm just gonna put on my gloves here and I'm gonna hop out here and see what they've got on the curb. Oh, I'm making their dogs bark, so I'm not really liking that. Look at these dolls, guys. Look at these adorable baby dolls. Oh, and a Ponyville game. And an Elmo book. 
Probably just needs batteries. Look at these beautiful dolls in this game, guys. I would never want to make a mess, so I'm being very careful. Maybe they had a yard sale. And some of their stuff didn't sell. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, I've heard about these that they can get really tangled in people's hair. Hmm. A 3D pen. I'm not going to take those because my look, they'd get tangled up in my hair. That would not be good. I think they're here because I think she um, got her dogs put away and I feel kind of bad that I was making the dogs bark. I hope she's not angry with me. Oh, it looks like something from Monster High. A Cabbage Patch doll. A little mini book. That's really cute. I'll see if I can clean up the cabbage patch. Okay, guys. We got lots of good stuff. Cute as that, guys. Oh, Monster High doll. And a calculator. And post it notes. I always use those. Okay, guys. Wow, we got a lot of cool stuff, guys. I'm just gonna make sure that I didn't leave any mess. And leave everything just the way that it was. So yay, guys, that was awesome. Side. That was so much fun guys and we got to save so many things. Alright guys, so this is that shelf and obviously I need to get some cobwebs off the bottom. But it says tech craft. So obviously I'm guessing that you're supposed to put your like computer stuff on there. Hmm. That would be my guess. It says it was made in Canada. 
it's very heavy and it's very nice it's got the little um, adjusting feet so you can balance it and sorry guys I'm kind of out of breath from lifting this thing out of my car and it's so heavy it really is oh I'm trying to lift it so you guys can see now the top he has a couple scratches but nothing major for sure and I love the shape of it I just really like it it's really kind of cool so regardless if you use it for computer stuff or anything really I don't know if my son might be able to use it I don't know how big his apartment's gonna be I know it's really small obviously but I have not been able to see it and so I don't really know the only thing I do know is I'm looking for a desk for him um, and I have a couple months to find one I'm pretty sure I will I have found several that I've sold before and I'm kicking myself now but yeah I really like that that's really cool and so I'm going to take you guys inside now I just wanted to kind of show you this but yeah I'm guessing this is like a cutout to run some cords up so yeah all right I'll see you guys inside and I'll show you all the toys that we were able to save woohoo all right so here is all the stuff that we were able to get and save from going in the trash so I'm really excited about this lots of good things so Monster High, I love Monster High dolls. I really do. Um, and they're very collectible. A lot of people like them. So I'm really happy to find that. And these, um, what were these things called? Are they like Beanie Boos? Is that what they're called? I think so. These toys with the big eyes. Let me see. T-Y. I think they're Beanie Boos. But they're in really good, clean condition. So... I'm really happy to save those. And then there was this pack of odor eaters. And I guess you cut them. They're really big. But I guess you um, you can cut them trim to fit. Huh. Might be good for my stinky boy's feet. <laughs> I need to clean this up because it's very dusty. But a Seen It DVD game. Brand new. Still in the, in the uh, package. A calculator and it works nothing wrong with that always can use some calculators I need to clean this one up too but this is another seen it DVD game let's see if I can open it here oh man I can't open it oh here we go ooh that's not looking very good guys Oh no, I don't know about this. This is looking pretty scary. No Ruby, you don't want that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of this. It smells like it got wet. Ruby, Ruby. <laughs> um, and then this Ponyville, guys, I don't know. I just quickly looked it up um, and I saw a couple people were selling them on eBay for quite a bit of money. So, I haven't really looked at it just yet. I'm going to see. I don't know if it's old. Um, let's see if I can open it. I hope it's not wet. I hope I didn't have some sort of water issue. And I don't know if it has the pieces in it because uh, I don't see them in the front here. You're supposed to see the little pieces. These tins are hard to open, guys. Jeez. Yikes. I guess it would be easier if I had two hands. Ooh. Okay, pop that bad boy open. Let's see, does it have all the pieces? Oh, look, it has all these ponies. Yeah, it looks like everything's here. Let's see what condition the board's in. Oh, I don't think it's supposed to be ripped in half. Yeah, unfortunately, it's ripped in half, but it's a very, you know, other than the fact that it's ripped in half, it's in really good condition. It's beautiful. So I'm definitely going to see if I can get my daughter to play this with me. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm a really sore loser. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but it's true. But I like to play little kid games because I'm pretty good at those. <laughs> funny 
So anyway, I'm going to look into that a little more, but this is really cool. I'm liking that. Okay, then we've got this little jewelry kit. Looks like some of it was used, but there's still like string and some other stuff in here. Some beads. And then check this out, guys. A 3D pen. Interesting. So I'm going to look into that. Then there was this um, kitchen science kit. Mm, looks, you know, I don't know if it was ever used. Probably not. Doesn't look like it. My, my boys used to like doing stuff like this when they were younger. Those are a lot of fun. And then the dolls, guys. Wow. So this doll here, her hair is pretty nappy, but I'm going to see if I can um, work on that a little bit. And then these two, I just love this one. I love the little freckles on her face. And she's got her clothes. And this one, too, with the blue stripe in her hair. The hair's not that bad. I can just brush that out. And the cabbage patch. Guys, this thing's pretty dirty, as you can see. But I'm going to use a magic eraser and see if I can clean it up and uh, work on the hair a little bit. And hopefully it'll be good. One time I found a Cabbage Patch doll that had like the original yarn hair and I took it piece by piece, you know, and kind of um, trimmed each top of the hair and made it look brand new. It was amazing. So I always like to do stuff like that. Ruby, can you say hello to your fans? It's been a while. Hello. Here's my beautiful Ruby checking out all the stuff, all the smells. Hi. <laughs> and here is one of the beautiful plants that I was able to save. I did bring it in yesterday because it's just been kind of oddly cold, um, but it's looking good. And I guess these, I don't know anything about plants really, guys. I don't. I like to mess around in the garden, um, but I, I'm not even going to pretend. I don't know what the heck's going on with things. Uh, some of you guys have given me some good pointers, though, and some of you have told me that these actually are perennials and they will come back. And my mother told me that they are pretty hardy and um, that they keep bloom blooming all through the summer. So she said, I'm really going to like it. And so I'm happy about that. So I guess these will just kind of die off and then new blooms will come. So yay, it's looking much better already. The rest of them are still outside. Um, and I couldn't wait anymore, guys. So I planted most of my um, little pepper plants. I still have these in here that I need to put out. And it's probably a good thing because I might have jumped the gun a little bit. It's been really cold, so I'm kind of afraid I might lose the ones that I planted outside. Um, but so far, so good. They're hanging in there, so I will definitely keep you posted on that. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for riding along. It was so much fun. We saved a lot of things. And I'm going to clean this stuff up and see what I can do with it. So see you guys soon. Thank you all so much. Until next time. Bye.